exercise I've taken from the great euphonium player Stephen Mead. Uh, if you go to YouTube and check out his video series called An Italian Masterclass, I will link it down below. Uh, you will see him playing this exercise while standing on the side of a mountain in Italy. It's absolutely beautiful. Well, sadly, we're here in my basement, so we'll do our best. Uh, but Stephen, uh, this is an awesome exercise. It's a great flexibility exercise. I love playing it. My students love playing it as well. Um, also, speaking of looking down below into the, uh, into the um, like and subscribe area, uh, I will link you to all of these sheets that I'm using. This is in my packet called The New Routine. Please download it, save it to your computer, or print it off, whatever works best for you. Again, thank you to uh, Stephen Mead, the great one, for this exercise. And I've got my metronome set to 120. And you can, of course, go faster. But again, for playing together, 120 is nice and uh, comfortable. And we should be able to navigate this without much hassle. If you are having problems navigating this exercise, there are multiple levels of lip slur in here. You will see that it goes from B flat to F to B flat to B flat to F to B flat, two triangles of notes. Um, the big issue is going to come in the move from octave to octave and octave back. Make sure that if you're having problems with those, that you isolate your octave flips so that you can work on. <laughs> sure that we feel that those intervals are close together in our mind. Sometimes that octave feels very large on these low instruments. Make the interval feel very close together. So as you're working the intervals, not too much movement, not too much movement here, although everything is sound based. Make the best sound you can and have the greatest flexibility that you can. All right. So here we go. Mead triangles, I call these in honor of Stephen Mead, who showed me these exercises on a great YouTube video. Here we go. Setting your metronome to subdivide triplets. Here we go. One, two. down past the two and four or one, two, and three combination. Those of us that have enough valves, go all the way down. Life doesn't stop at two and four, all right? So keep going all the way down, even if it's not written out. The biggest thing you can do for yourself as a musician is experiment. Look up the people that you appreciate as players, like Stephen Mead. Again, down in the description, there will be a link to his videos down there. Listen to what he says and try it. It's hard at first, but if you don't push yourself past your current boundaries, you'll never see what you can truly accomplish. All right, that was Mead Triangles. On to the next. Mm -hmm.